Y'all, I am so excited. We are throwing a new clay today. And it's speckled. I haven't done much, but what I have done, I am totally and completely in love with. This is Trinity Spectacular, and we're gonna see how it throws today. So exciting. Thanks for coming. Nifty doodad. It's a laser. And it and it'll tell me it'll tell me see how it's touching my pot right there? It'll tell me that's how far out your pot needs to go. Um problem is I can see it real good from over there. I can't see it all that great from over here. <laughs> So I'm gonna do the next one, see how it works. The first time using it. But these are these are pretty good specs. This is a little too short, which um, if I was going to the line, I would be a little bit taller anyway. And it's just the right width. So, so good stuff. Let's see how that works. Content is funky in this one. It wants, it feels like it's drier than it actually is. So you think, oh gee, I, I might need to put some water in that. And nope, you know, you just need to massage it a little bit. But, it's pretty yummy. It's pretty yummy. It feels like it has more grog in it. It acts like it doesn't. So I would akin it to BMX. It's very BMXy like. Um, Tim and I were talking about different clays um, last night and how that can really. Um, depending on what you are trying to accomplish, um, change the way that you learn. If you learn with porcelain or if you learn with B-Mix, you're um, going to have a different experience um, than if you learn with something like a uh, Cinco Rojo. Got plenty of height. <laughs> Not quite fat enough. <laughs> Not nifty. Uh, but it seems to be giving me a headache. As soon as I turn it on, it's like, wham! So that's kind of... 
so in case it does not give you a headache, I will kind of tell you how it works. Obviously, you pull it up past your level here, and then you open it up. until the rim interrupts that line there. And it's not set very good right now, but there it goes. There it's interrupting that rim, interrupting that line. So there you go. Now that is to the settings that it's on. But uh, at the same time, I think that is above and beyond what I want it to be at. Oh, it's pretty good. It's a little rib, rib tip. If you hold your rib like this versus like this, it will um, actually slide against the pot and help you shape rather than shave off clay and you'll be less likely to you know how it goes jab your rib into the side of your pot and I do rip out the insides of my pot so that's something that Tim started doing I didn't do before I taught Tim how to throw and he, he um, And uh, because he started doing it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. As everything that Superman does looks amazing. And there's my shape. That's what I'm looking for. I don't like to have the lip flared out too much. Um, like, like a vase shape. I think it looks fine after you get a handle on it, um, but I feel like, and I don't know this, but I feel like as far as drinking is concerned, when you go to pour something into your mouth, you want to want it to flow at an even rate. I know that's a weird way of saying that, um, but if it doesn't flow at an even rate, um, I think that you would notice. And there's that last little bit that you're always trying to get out of the cup. I want that to come out of the cup. I know that sounds weird. Um, but if there's a big belly here, it's gonna hang out in that belly and you're gonna have to, you know, get a flip top head to drink what's left in your cup. pottery you'll want to measure and you'll see me measuring and that's why we got this thing and but here's the thing what do you measure to um, most of our cups come with uh, these little universal lids so I measure to those little universal lids um, with the shrinkage rate on the clays that I use, and I haven't tested this one yet, if I measure to 10 and a half centimeters off of the wheel throwing, then a vast majority of them will handle one of those um, universal mug lids. So that's the width, 10 and a half centimeters. As far as height is concerned, uh, just go with what you can get to. Um, if you can't get to very high, 
but you can do 10 and a half centimeters, then just go with what you can get to. But I use that universal cup measurement, not necessarily because um, I'm trying to make them all match, although I am, but more because I want the cup to be comfortable to drink out of. And if the lid is universal, um, then that is the standard rim size for a standard cup. I have got, we do have uh, mugs from other potters um, that have a smaller circumference and mugs that have a larger circumference. And there's a difference in the way you perceive the space around the rim of your mugs. So for what it's worth, I throw this distance 10 and a half centimeters. This, I let that vary. And if the clay is really watery, it's not gonna fit the lid. If it's really stiff, it's not gonna fit the lid. So it's not a foolproof way of making sure that, you know, you fit the lid, but it is a way to get some sort of consistency in your work and to measure your progress and to make a comfortable mug or a comfortable drinking vessel. Um, because if it's not comfortable to drink out of, nobody's going to come back to your booth. I'm just saying. <laughs>
a bath. <laughs> Always is. <laughs> See you next week. A box cover. <laughs> I would save myself a lot of time if I didn't mess up so much. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. Where did my metal rib go? I don't. You need like a list. Do you have metal rib? Pinterest. <laughs> Superman's on!